Now we're going to prove the following result concerning the difference of the cosines. So we have the cosine of A minus cosine of B is minus 2 sine of A plus B over 2 sine of A minus B over 2. This is very useful when trying to solve equations, at least for now. To prove this result, we can start from the right and uh, and we can go to the uh, to the left, okay, by using the uh, the formulas that we know for the sum of the signs, okay. So here we can we can we can just use what we know. So we know that the sine of a plus b over two is sine of a over two cosine of b over 2 plus the cosine of a over 2 times the sine of b over 2. The same thing for the sine of a minus b over 2. We're going to have almost the same thing except for a minus. Sine of a over 2 cosine of b over 2 minus cosine of a over 2 sine of b over 2. Here we're going to multiply these two quantities without forgetting about this minus 2 that we'll have to add when we multiply. So when we multiply 1 by 2, we will have here, uh, we can think of this one as x, this is y, this is x, this is y. So it's x plus y times x minus y. So we have x plus y times x minus y, which gives us x squared minus y squared. Okay, so our x is going to be sine of a over 2 cosine of b over 2 squared minus cosine of a over 2 uh, 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 sine of b over 2 squared. Okay, now let's, let's, let's simplify these expressions. Okay, so we have sine squared of a over 2 cosine squared of b over 2 minus cosine squared of a over 2 sine squared of b over 2. Okay, now we're going to replace the one of the values and either we're going to replace, replace that sine squared of a over 2 is 1 minus cosine squared of a over 2 or we're going to replace that cosine squared of b over 2 is 1 minus sine squared of b over 2. Okay. So I'm going to replace this one here, sine of a over 2. It's going to be 1 minus cosine squared of a over 2 times cosine squared of b over 2 minus cosine squared of a over 2 times 1 minus cosine squared of b over 2. Okay, I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to get cosine squared of b over 2 minus cosine squared of a over 2 times cosine squared of b over 2 minus cosine squared of a over 2 plus cosine squared of a over 2 times cosine squared of b over 2. This one will go. This one here. So I'm left with only these two. Cosine squared of b over 2 minus cosine squared of a over 2. Now I'm going to use my formula for the cosine, okay? So I know that I can write the cosine of 2x is 1 minus, oh, I need the cosine. So I have to write the cosine, 2 cosine squared of x minus 1, 2 cosine of x. But here I have only, I need b over 2 or a over 2. That means I have the cosine here. Cosine x is 2 cosine squared of x over 2 minus 1. Therefore, the cosine squared of a over 2 is going to be 1 plus cosine of x over 2. Of a, a, sorry. And cosine squared of b over 2 is going to be 1 plus cosine b over 2. Plug them here. So here I have this one is going to be 1 plus cosine b over 2 minus uh, 1 plus cosine of a over 2. Doing this, I get, I'll take the 1, uh, uh, I'll take the 1 half outside. So I'll take the 1 half outside, uh, the 1 half as, as multiple, I'm going to have 1 half 
the this one half this one will go all i'm gonna have is cosine b minus cosine a okay and i don't i don't forget the minus two that i didn't use okay if i multiply by minus two here i have this one is just this product okay if i multiply by minus two so minus two times one half cosine b minus cosine a will give me cosine a minus cosine b and this proves that this is uh, minus two sine a plus b over two sine of a minus b over two and that's what i need okay so it's just using these formulas over and over again so here so uh, this proves the result that we have that we need okay so we started from here we had to use the the sum for the sign we use that after that we use the sum for the first for a plus b over 2 second for a minus b over 2 we multiplied we simplified this problem so we call this one x this is y and here we have then in the first we have x plus y and the second we have x minus y when we multiply we have x squared minus y squared and we had to use the this to, to, to plug the cosine here instead of the sine because we need the cosine we use this formula here cosine to x is 2 cosine squared of x minus 1 but we need only x over 2 because here we have a over 2 b over 2 and that's how we simplify this problem here okay if you can um, go through the problem you will see you will see what you need you need to work it out by yourself here use this one and this two at least for this proof you can do many other ways there are many other ways to do it okay thank you very much